Hello guys and welcome back to another video on everyone's favourite patchy beard gouty behemoth Darkside Phil and today before we get started I do want to say well I want to address the elephant in the room no not Phil we'll address that elephant in a minute but um, a lot of people have been asking me over the past month or however long it's been to whether I'm going to be doing a video on the whole DSP side scrollers interview thing and the answer is probably, I know I've left it a bit late now, um, but I would like to do a video on it at some point. I have watched it. I did watch a good chunk of it live, um, and then I went back and watched, I missed the first couple of hours, went back and rewatched it later. And I thought it was great. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Obviously, they didn't dodge any questions. They called him out on his bullshit, made him look like a complete twat. And yeah, the whole thing was absolutely hilarious. That being said, it is five hours worth of footage for me to sift through and find the best bits and you know i've got to decide there's gonna because the whole interview is great but i can't do a fucking video on every single thing it's gonna be like a 10 hour fucking video so i've got to take my time to sift through it and pick bits so maybe i'll do a video on it we'll see if not i apologize but yeah there's that and obviously if it does come out it's going to be really late but there you go um for those of you who haven't seen it i'm sure pretty much everyone watching this video has but if you haven't i'll leave a link to it below you know, go watch it. It is worth checking out. But anyway, onto the other elephant in the room, the gouty elephant that is DSP. He has been back to, up to his, well, usual... He never stopped. He never fucking stopped. Remember a couple of months back when he, he um, when Critical uh, basically did like a stream reacting to him and talking about how he's a beggar and DSP comes out and goes, oh, I didn't realise you guys. I didn't realise you until I saw that, uh, Critical said it. And then I realised, oh, I'm a beggar. This is literally DSP, different than DSP. DSP's whole brand is about blatant e-begging. I still tune in pretty actively. But all DSP, like his whole brand is just blatantly saying, you guys haven't given me enough money, so I don't even know if I'm going to bother playing this game anymore. You guys are lucky that I played the game for two hours. I got a lot of shit I got to do, and I still sat here for two hours, and I only made X amount of dollars from you guys. The lack of support was alarming. And now I can't even afford to buy a new game on Friday, talking about Gotham Knights. I can't even afford Gotham Knights now because you guys didn't donate enough. Everyone has been telling you you're a fucking beggar. Like, we've all been saying it, but you're like, it's just detractors, saying the nonsense, saying all that stuff. But then as soon as fucking Critical says it, oh, maybe there's something to it. Couldn't be doing it any from the fact that Critical's got fucking millions of subscribers, and you saw an opportunity to, like, change your ways, air quotes, and then have Critical come out and go... DSP's changed his ways. Everyone should go and subscribe to him and give him money. That's about it. See ya. That's obviously what you thought was going to happen in your little gouty brain, but that didn't happen. So now you're back to begging. Not that you ever stopped, but he did sort of for a little bit make a little bit of a conscious effort to go, oh, I know I'm begging, guys, but I can't help it. This is just where I am, you guys. But now he's like, fuck it. I'm all in. And we're going to talk about um, <laughs> today about one of these instances. So, uh... Yeah, let's get right into it. Let's see. Guys, we've got about 15 minutes left before we go on a break, just so you know. Guys, could, it would be great if you could support the stream. Um, you know, yesterday I started Silent Hill 3. Today, Elden Ring. To be honest, yeah, uh, support isn't that great. These are actually slower streams than when I was seriously playing other games. And uh, these are games that you guys have been asking me for. So if you could support the stream, I would really appreciate it. Now, nothing new here, right? Phil has gone ahead before doing this playthrough. Obviously, he's going back to playing Elden Ring, you guys. DLC content, as he likes to call it, is coming out soon. So he started a new game. He asked his viewers um, what they'd prefer. And this is obviously what they, they, you know, they wanted this playthrough in Silent Hill 3. And now they're not supporting you guys, but Phil explicitly asked them. He specifically said, if I go do this, you guys, you've you got to do a buy-in. So he, he wanted them to confirm that if he did this this playthrough, that they would show up and support. And of course, they haven't. They're not. He's sitting down on his fat ass playing games, and no one is turning up to give him money. And here he is. What's going on, you guys? You're lower than some of the other playthroughs. Like, what the fuck? Why don't you try and make it more entertaining? Or offer more of an incentive to fucking people to tip? Oh, we're the gun of glasses, you guys. And wear fucking... Like, a vest, blow bubbles, all this other stupid shit. And you're wondering, like, why no one is fucking donating? Like, Jesus Christ. And, uh, cool. All right? Now, guys, again, what did I say? I said, I would do this, all right, as long as you guys were going to engage and support it. 
There's some good engagement. There's people whining. Why? Because they want a new game plus, and I'm not doing new game plus. So they're whining about it. Oh, I don't like this. Well, sorry, I couldn't please everyone. No matter what I chose, people were going to be upset. You understand that? And I said, I told you guys that. All right. So it'd be great if you could support the stream. I'm not, I'm being honest. Both yesterday and today, these streams are being less supported than the other playthroughs I was doing. <laughs> that cunty little laugh, really. <coughs> Ooh, these uh, playthroughs aren't doing as well as the other playthroughs aren't doing. <coughs> like he's like, the audacity. I've, he talks to his viewers like they're fucking children. Which doesn't surprise me because they are. I mean, he blows bubbles for them. That he's supposed to be a mature adult fucking not a child's entertainer. But the fact he's like, I specifically told you guys that if we do this, I need support. And look at this nonsense. Like, they're, they're fucking people. Well, you know, <laughs> arguably. But they're people that have jobs or whatever, or their parents have jobs, and maybe they don't want to spend, like, every fucking penny they own on some gout-ridden fucking hippo sitting down, like, eating butter burgers and playing games. But I just, the fact that y you taught, like, I did say that if I did this, you better give me money, and then people aren't, that you're pissed and also saying, oh, some people are moaning with this nonsense. Aren't you an interactive streamer? I always, you always say, I always listen to my viewers. We have interactive streams. And I talk to them, you guys. Unless they derail the chat, of course, and that's a no-no. But the fucking point is, not everyone in your fucking little fan base is going to agree on everything, are they? So, yes, some people are going to come and say, oh, Phil, I wish you were doing it this way. But it's like, oh, fucking idiots. Donate anyway, even though you don't want me doing this. Donate anyway. It's fucking stupid. You've got a business degree as well, supposedly. People were supporting Metroid Prime more, so if you could, I would appreciate it. If not, you know, I don't know what to say. You guys want me to do the DLC, but I have to replay the game to play to do it, right? I have to at some point. All right, so please, if you can, stop complaining. Seriously, people complaining, which is ridiculous, in the chat. I just started. I'm an hour in. And, uh, you know, if you could support it, please do. All right? All right. I'll be back. Give me like 15, 20 minutes. I'll be back for more. The irony of him telling people to stop complaining. Well, he pretty much spends like 90% of his streams complaining. It's fucking, of course, it's lost on him. Like, but, like, what a fucking idiot. I don't get why he complains about all this toxicity and nonsense in his chat and whatever. And how he's going to stop ignoring the haters, you guys. Start ignoring the drama. Which he's said like a million fucking billion times. And yet, he's there. If people are complaining in your chat, why don't you just ignore them? Just accept it. Just accept the fact that you're not going to please anyone, uh, everyone, all the time. But no, you have to bring it up and, like, make it... Imagine the people that are enjoying this fucking content, having to sit there and listen to you whine every fucking four seconds. Oh, you guys, people are supporting the content. How fucking annoying is that? And, obviously, these people are, that, like, stick with you through thick and thin are always there. How fucking mundane must it be to listen to some fat, patchy beard wanker stop every five seconds and go, Guys, the tips are low. If you want to support me, you can fucking do this. And that. We know. I know. I don't even watch your fucking content. And I know the best way to support you. We've got to uh, support me by tips, you guys. And as soon as you get a super chat, it's, Oh, that will help me next month, you ungrateful fucking cunt. Anyway, so, yeah, again, just reminding people for the billionth time that they, you know, slow support, they can support. Apparently, that's not begging, it's just reminding, according to him. But, uh, yeah, so he's constantly reminding. And now he's gone on his little break, air quotes, break, you know, because you all need a break when you're sitting down playing games. Like, very hard work, can't be doing that for too long. Um, he goes for his little break. What's the betting when he comes back from his break, before he starts playing and recording for the on-demand viewers... That he starts reminding everyone again that they can give him money. Okay. Well, all right, so let's jump back in. Now, guys, one more hour for today. And, of course, this is going to be the playthrough that I'm alternating with Silent Hill 3. But I hope that you guys will show up and continue to engage in support. So far, people have been helpful. No, I'm not doing this. So far, people have been helpful. And I appreciate that. But as you can see... Support today has been quite low. We have almost no super chats. We only hit the tier one tips goal and everything froze. Um, yeah, this is going to be a long playthrough. You guys wanted me to do new game, which is why I'm doing it. Uh, it would be great to have some more buy-in, all right, if you could. Some more fucking buy-in. Who talks like this? This is just unreal, man. How... I, I, it always baffles me why his fucking viewers put up with this. Why did you let this guy talk to you? Fucking hell. Like, to, like this. Like, why? Why do you continue to give him money when he's an ungrateful cunt? Like, the fact that he comes back and goes... Like, how many times has he said now? I go, I asked you guys what I should do. This is what you guys wanted. And yet, you're not cuffing up. Where's the money? Like, 
They don't have to give you fuck all. They don't give you anything. And, you know, maybe it's because you're not entertaining. But no, they've asked you. You've specifically told them. It's like they're children. Like, I, I said it, but it is, isn't it? It's like a... Oh, I asked you guys what you wanted to do. You said you wanted to go for dinner at McDonald's. And now you're not eating all your chips. What's going on? It's like that kind of fucking, like, attitude. Eternal Napalm, everyone disagrees. Everyone says, I should have done New Game Plus, and then people are like, no, you should do New Game. No matter what, people are going to complain, and literally, I'm getting pissed already. I don't want to see people just fucking sit here complaining all day. Oh, this isn't what I wanted. Well, then fuck, man, play it yourself. I mean it, like, and I'm not just yelling at you. I'm upset because already there's a ton of complainers today. Complaining about my playthrough already. No matter what I do, people are going to sit here and bitch about it. And it pisses me off. It does. I want people bitching about it because I'm doing it because I need to do it for the fucking DLC regardless. I love the way that his job is basically sitting down and talking over games. And he's acting like it's so difficult. What a first world fucking problem. Oh, tough day at work today. I went in, played games, and was talking over them. And people in the chat were complaining. I don't want to see that, man. I don't want to see that. Well, don't look at your laptop then, you fat idiot. Like, what? It, it, people go to work and have real fucking problems, and you're all oh, people are saying they're not liking what I'm doing on the game. Who gives a fuck, you fucking moron? And I love the irony again, that's again lost on him, to sit there and go, oh, I'm speaking to people complaining. People complaining on the street. The irony of people turning up and complaining on a stream of a gouty hippo complaining. Like, you are the... How can you sit there and yell at people for complaining when all you're doing is complaining? You could literally just ignore all these comments and just crack on for the people that do want to see you play on new game and do your little magic build. But no, fuck them as well. You're, not, you're basically just pandering to the people moaning and complaining about money, and then the people that are there to support you and watch your fucking shit content are having to put up with this shit. Like, unreal. No, real talk in general, I'm just tired of people complaining about everything I do. I am. I just want to be able to enjoy games like anyone else and not have a million people bitching that I did it wrong. I'm just tired of it. Why can everyone else play games that doesn't have to be fucking yelled at constantly? But I have to be yelled at. Oh, you did it wrong. You're doing this wrong. doing that wrong. What the fuck? Can I just play the game? I want to do a magic build, so I'm doing it. Okay? So people help me find a good item first. Great. I'm happy about that. But now, oh, you're not doing the boss or immediately you're actually getting things to make it so that your your flasks are worth using. Oh, fuck you. This is boring. Again, this is a 40-year-old man that plays video games and talks over them and sits down 90% of his existence moaning about like, what? <laughs> I just want to play games, you guys. I just want to play games. Why can't I be play games like everyone else and just not get any hassle? Dude, you play games for a living, man. You fucking like live in a lot of people's dream right there. And you're an ungrateful fucking cunt. It's still, oh, wait, I'm not getting the support, you guys. Like, fucking hell, you ungrateful asshole. Oh, I, I don't get how, like, every time he, like, comes out and, like, like with the critical thing and has, like, an epiphany going, oh, I look at myself and I'm like, that's not what I want to be, you guys. I don't want to be known as a beggar. Now look at you. This is not even, like, fucking a couple of months later and you're doing this shit. Like, dude, shut the fuck up. Seriously? I can't spend 25 minutes of the playthrough getting necessary pickups. So that I can actually have a, a, a chance against what's coming. That's not acceptable, apparently. Shut the fuck up about it. I'm tired of people bitching. It really pisses me off if you can't tell. Oh, no, everything Phil does is wrong. If I had done New Game Plus, that was wrong. New Game, that's wrong. Listening to the audience, wrong. Not listening, wrong. So fuck it. Why don't I just delete the game from my hard drive right now? And then I never play it again. And I don't do the DLC. Then I don't have to hear any of the bitching. Right? I'll never have to hear the bitching. Or, people could grow the fuck up and stop bitching every five seconds. Yeah, guys. What are you, a bunch of children? Grow the fuck up. Lil Wayne! Grow the fuck up. It's amazing that he's telling people to grow the fuck up. And he's being serious about it. This isn't like a like fucking a joke. He is li literally like telling people to grow the fuck up. But yeah, this guy who like fucking buys bubbles and blows bubbles for his audience of air quotes adults, obviously. Because uh, he makes mature content. So his viewers aren't children. They're adults. He's telling them to grow the fuck up. Why he is literally like, I'm going to uh, delete the game. How about that? 
How about I turn the car around and we go back to Winnipeg? <laughs> That's it! Back to Winnipeg! <laughs> Oh, it, no irony as well. He's proper with a straight face going, will not you grow the fuck up? Yeah, dude, why don't you take your own fucking advice? You're a fucking 40-year-old uh, man, patchy beard, who's gone through bankruptcy, whose, like, fucking business is in shambles. You've just embarrassed yourself on, like, the most grandest fucking scale ever on your first ever interview in, well, ever, well, since the fucking shit quartering one. And you're telling other people to fucking grow the fuck up. Jesus Christ, you're in no position to give advice or tell anyone to grow up. Despite what everyone is saying, I'm enjoying the content. Thank you, Viseo. Because there's a thing, like, some people are saying, now they're defending me, and they're like, yeah, Phil's doing the right thing. He needs to get these early game items. Why even play the game if you're not going to get the early game items? No wondrous physic, not leveling my flask. Like, what am I, an idiot? Yes. Yes, you are an idiot. Why? I don't... This is also, like, people going... Oh, Phil, I'm still enjoying the content, are you? Are you really enjoying this? Are you enjoying watching some fucking loser moaning about people go, Oh, people are moaning about my Elden Ring and the decision I made, whether it's a new game or new game plus. Who cares? Is this your biggest fucking worry? Oh, such a bad day at work, people questioning my doing my new game plus magic fucking build. Oh, wow. Oh, poor you. What an awful job you have. Fuck off. You have to do this this necessary stuff or else well I'm not speed running the game. You if you wanted me to do new game which people want it, then it's not a speed run. Speed run would have been new game plus. I'm not speed running the game. I need to get the essential items. If you don't like it, shut the fuck up and play it yourself and don't watch my playthrough. Like why would you be here to bitch that I'm doing it wrong when I'm literally doing basic stuff you need to do at the beginning of the game? Right, that is fucking dumb there. Him going, Well, if you don't like it, why don't watch? Why are you here? The fucking, oh, it's so dumb, because he'll say that, right, and go, if you don't want to be here, don't be here, why are you even coming to watch, right, and then what happens, so people go, alright, fair enough, I won't come and watch it, because I didn't want him to do new game, uh, a new game made, but I wanted him to do new game plus, right, so they don't turn up, and then what happens, guys, welcome to the level 1 podcast, people don't come in to support the streams, you guys, Elden Ring, one of the, I hate to say it, you guys, but Elden Ring, one of the lowest attended streams, and lowest supported, Oh, people said they were going to come, but they didn't turn up. Like, fucking, yeah, that's exactly what would happen. You can't win either way. They come and say, oh, I'm not happy about this. I wanted you to do New Game Plus. You moan about them coming and giving their opinion, even though you're an interactive streamer. And then people don't show up. Oh, guys, I hate to say it. Oh, tennis really low, you guys. Oh, I hope something happens where we get support. Like, fucking, you moan either way. Like, what are you, stupid? Yes. If you're sitting here complaining like a bitch, you're stupid. And I don't need you here. I don't want that toxic element when I'm trying to fucking play and enjoy a game. It's ridiculous nonsense. Dude, if you don't want a toxic element while you're playing the games, then you need to leave. Like, you are the biggest toxic element going. Like I said a million times, man, don't address it. Like, just fucking get on with it. Who gives a shit? Is it really that big a deal? Is this your life? Is this your fucking biggest problem? That people are moaning about how you're playing Elden Ring? Who gives a fuck? That you have to derail your own fucking content and moan about it for so long? You're a 40-year-old fucking man. What a fucking loser that you spent so much time out of your content addressing this. And like, oh, you're just such a fucking loser. Thank you, Felix. Felix says, I'm enjoying it too. It's nice to have a few people who are being reasonable and, and, and positive, rather than a bunch of people just being negative jerks. Like, come on. Exactly, Rugal. He says some people just want you to die constantly. Right, what the fuck? I already played the game, stupid. I already beat the whole game. I'm not going to be dying a million times constantly. you got to be a moron to think that's going to happen. <laughs> I've got like a 140-hour playthrough. Oh, you're just going to die every 10 seconds. No, I'm not, stupid. Right, we'll leave it there. That seems like a good place to leave it. With him saying, basically, he doesn't want a toxic element in his stream. He doesn't want people complaining. It's nice that some people are being positive and not everyone's being negative. He's saying that all at the same time as calling people in his stream chat stupid morons and idiots. Oh, what a great positive environment you're creating. Fucking hell. He doesn't change, does he? He doesn't change. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this just to sort of get this on, you know, just to show yet again, like, this same guy who, when the whole critical thing went down, who obviously just wanted critical to interview him. That's what he wanted. He, when he said, oh, I don't like who I've become, you guys. I don't like this being known as a beggar. Like, oh, most critical opened my eyes. He wanted critical to have him 
uh, to be the one to interview him because that's when he was wanted an interview and he wanted critical to basically just do the interview and sit there and go uh, and phil would just be like yeah i couldn't believe it all thanks for having my eyes like even though everyone's been saying it for ages but they're detractors so it doesn't matter but oh like when critical says it because he's got loads of subscribers it's a big deal but now obviously he hasn't got the interview with critical and critical's not talking about him anymore and he's faded back into his little shitty little irrelevancy he's all of a sudden gone back to begging like it didn't last long and moaning being ungrateful for the lack of support you know any support he gets is baffling but no it's never enough and it never will be he's just an endless fucking money pit that um you know you just throw money in and it just it just goes into the abyss the gouty abyss and there you have it things never change with phil but yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will try to do a side scrollers video. Obviously, it's going to be late if I do get it done. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.